Welcome to Chris SPI. My name is Chris, that's Dax. And today we're gonna to be showing you how do you build a Power BI report so you can use it as a big screen di display inside your organization and the best practices for that. All right, let's get to it. Google Alliance is counting on you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, turn on that alarm bell so you don't miss any future emission. You've been asked with taking one of your Power BI reports that you have and then transforming it into something that is available for people to, to consume and work inside your organization. But it needs to be you know usable for you for people on a big screen. Well, let's go in and let's take a look at what you could do to make this work or not make this work. All right. So let's head over to our robot cam and take a look at this. All right. Okay, to get started, we're gonna use our new RoboCam to come walk with us. All right, so this is the new Obspot 4K Mini. It follows me wherever I go so I can get up and I can show you this new cool feature. All right, so let's hone in. Great. So, two types of dashboards that we'll be talking about when it comes to uh, something that's up by the display. This is like a marketing piece that you want to look polished or fine and make everyone go hip hip hooray. Uh, the other one uh, that you know we'd be talking about. So in this dashboard, it's going to be uh, very few visuals, and it's going to be very big and like kind of colorful. It's going to be much more of a marketing piece. The other kind is going to be more of an operations report. This is going to be for like your help desk. This is going to be your call center uh, or like a security desk point. This is going to help you understand all of the content or, or business that's going on. You're going to be looking to make sure that this is as simple uh, to interact with as possible. In fact, there should be no interactions. You should just see what's going on inside the system. This is something you're going to want to look at using uh, the refresh on a, a regular basis or cadence, or you'd be looking to have like a live stream of information. And so if you're talking about security issues, you'd see them logging in here. You also want to make sure that you're, you're being very mindful around color coding on this type of dashboard. You should be highlighting and calling out the key things that people would want to take action on. All right. Now let's start with the desktop and see how we transform our existing report over to this. Okay. So here is our enterprise model that we want to have, that we want to use inside of our report. So this is something we use in our organization. It's uh, it tracked by executives, got all sorts of great stuff but we want some of these things available on uh, on big screen so we can highlight and showcase all the great work that we're doing. This is where we'd have a, a somewhat different take on this. So we, we crop this down so it's gonna be the, the exact same size and pixels that are rendered on our big screen so that you know people can easily see this. We wanna have very few images and items on here as possible because people need to be understand what's going on at, at a glance and it needs to be something that is meaningful, makes sense, and uh, you, you know, honestly, you know, ha tells a good story and is visually appealing, right? So therefore, we're gonna use that same uh, mountain range backend. We're gonna have just those those key KPIs that are are important to our organization, and then we're gonna have a handful of visuals that we've selectively chosen from that enterprise dashboard to be brought forward onto this one as the ones that are most important or, or highlight the values that you want to have inside your organization. Additionally, if you're, if you're going to that um, uh, overhead functionality where you're trying to have that uh, call center list, this is where you go to something that is uh, driven by details. So, you know, you, know, you wanna have, still have those big high level KPIs, but this is where people are gonna be wanting to see like, okay, uh, the subject of the ticket, the, the you know, relevant person, uh, maybe it's time and queue, you know, those types of things are going to be very important to include inside that dashboard, okay? Hey, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, those are just some tips and tricks for, for making a Power BI report. Great enough so that goes up on the display. Thank you for joining me. You guys have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.